I like him pitch perfect. And she's like, ah, oh, he's like, bleh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bleh. 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 <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm asking you, have you ever wondered why onions make you cry? Thanks to Farafun for the question, and get ready for some science all up in your face. The onion, or allium sepa, is used all over the world to make delicious dishes. They're also quite handy for science experiments, as their cells are quite big, so you can see them under low magnifications. They're also a handy analogy for ogres. But what is it that gets the tears flowing? Onions absorb lots of things from the soil, including sulphur, which they store in their cells to make amino acids. They also contain the enzymes alanase and lacrimatory factor synthase. Let's call this LFS. Cutting through onions destroys these cells and releases all the contents into the air. When alanase is released into the air, it converts amino acid sulfoxides into sulfenic acid. This is then converted into the volatile sulfur compound propanethyl S-oxide by LFS. Let's call this PSO. This gas reacts to the tears in your eyes to form sulfuric acid. Yep, that's the same stuff as battery acid. But wait, I don't usually cry before I cut onions, unless I've been watching something sad like Bridge to Terabithia. Seriously, that is a kids film? Your eyes constantly produce tears called basal tears to keep them lubricated. When they come into contact with an irritant, they produce reflexive tears, which flush out the eye and get rid of the irritant. So what can we do to stop this catastrophe from happening every time we want to make a curry? What up, stereotypes? But seriously, it's the only thing I could think of. And now I really want a curry. Well, so far the jury is out on getting rid of these pesky enzymes altogether by breeding them out. LFS, the enzyme which produces the irritant PSO which makes you cry, was discovered in 2002. But before that, scientists thought it was alanase, which is the enzyme that produces sulfenic acid, which was the tear-producing culprit. And that was a shame, because that's what makes onions taste so good. But now that we know where the fest is to blame, who knows? Whilst we wait for these magical onions, there's lots of remedies on the internet to prevent tears from this multi-layered monstrosity. So to test them out, I'm going to need some help. Let me introduce you to Preeti. She's a scientist too. We're going to decide who tests out which remedy by using the age-old method of decision making, picking out of a hat. And to make sure we both get the same amount of exposure, we're going to time it. Pretty, as a guest, you can pick first. Okay. And the fun one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll get the worst out of the way first. So cutting the onion whilst holding your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Got two minutes on the timer. Pretty. Please start chopping. So as well as looking fabulous while you chop onions, what is this method actually supposed to do? This is supposed to give PSO, which is the gas given off when LFS reacts with sulfonic acid, a chance to interact with your saliva instead of your tears, therefore you don't cry, and the sulfuric acid is produced in your mouth instead of in your eyes. Breathing through your mouth is also supposed to prevent the stimulation of your olfactory nerves, which rock your nose. And they're quite close to the tear ducts, so if you don't stimulate those, there's less chance of stimulating your tear ducts, and you don't cry. And pretty, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm quite furry. I'm quite furry. I'm like strawberry. Strawberry? Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. That got so, how was that for you? That was awful. Oh, God, you're crying. <laughs> so, on the, scale, the, on the scale of one to five, one being didn't help <laughs> at all by being did the job. Yeah. How are we feeling? I've got to say one. A one? Yeah. Didn't because help at all. It didn't help on crying and it's stinging and it's really helpful. <laughs> so that's the number one. That doesn't work. Yeah! So now it's my turn. My first one is cutting an onion whilst having a spoon in your mouth. You're going to get inserting that spoon into your mouth? I'll insert it. <laughs> <laughs> So having a stainless steel spoon in your mouth is supposed to bind the PSO to the metal and therefore taking it away from your eyes and therefore no tears. So how are you doing, Buzz? You good? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. A little bit stingy, but there's no tears. Yeah, yeah but it's really hard having the spoon in your mouth. There's a lot of saliva generated. I'd probably give this one 
maybe a three, midway. <laughs> so I'm gonna go next and I'll be cutting an onion that has been soaking in water for about 20 minutes. Two minutes on the clock, get chopping. So why would soaking an onion in water help? Well, soaking an onion in water, it's supposed to draw out the sulfuric compound from the surface of the onion. And less sulfuric compounds mean less PSO is produced, so you don't get any tears. So that's the theory. But how is it working? Yeah, I mean, a little bit stingy, but actually no tears yet. It's stinging my eyes, but no tears. No it's tears. just irri irritated eyes, really. I think I'd give that a four, I think. Okay, actually. <laughs> So my next one is cutting an onion that's been refrigerated. So this onion has been in the fridge for about an hour, so a good long while. You ready? Ready, steady, get cutting. So cooling down the onion is supposed to reduce the activity of those pesky enzymes. This then slows down the production of the sulfuric compounds and therefore no PSO. Winner, right? Seems to be winning at the moment. Oh, seems to be the... Uh... And in there pretty well? Yeah, it's magic. Yeah? It's not magic, it's science. That wasn't too bad. At the last minute I got a little bit of a sting. I didn't really feel anything throughout, so that was pretty good. good. I would probably rate that a 4, just because I got a little bit stingy at the end. Ah! So now I'm going to cut an onion wearing these attractive steeples. Ooh, gosh, you look cool. Oh yeah. Get chopping. So aside from looking cool as, what are the goggles actually doing? It's pretty simple. The goggles are protecting your eyes, so the PSO can't get to them, and therefore no tears. And are they doing what they say on the tin? Yeah, so far so good. Oh, oh. Start your chopping. Yeah, how did you fare? <clears throat> it was pretty good. That went pretty well. Just a little bit stingy, but the physical barrier is working. Yeah, I think I'd give it a four as well. <laughs> final test we're going to do is cutting an onion while chewing gum. Ready to chop? Do it. Okay. So this remedy is supposed to draw the PSO intermixed with your saliva, drawing it away from your eyes until it reaches the How's that tasting? Delicious combo. <laughs> Which I never want to have again. How are you feeling? They're definitely stingy. <clears throat> um, haven't got any tears yet. Not to me. <laughs> oh. Is it going? Okay. The floodgates been open. Oh. Mm, having onion flavoured chewing gum is definitely not the way to go. Yeah! So that was the final test. <laughs> to end, we're going to flip a coin and see who loses. And the loser gets to put their face over this lovely tub of onions we've chopped throughout the video for five whole minutes. We're going to go with heads. Tails. That means me. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> that means mad. Oh, God. Are you ready for this, Miles? <laughs> no. I'm enjoying this now. Oh, God. <laughs> Steady. Go. Oh, God. Just breathe it in. All the oniony goodness. Damn, that oh, PSO so is no good. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we're in your face. I can see it. No. <laughs> They got the, the, the tears The up. tears, oh, oh. her eyes are brimming up. Oh, shut uh, up. It's okay. Yeah. We're all here to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, when will this hell be over? In just over a minute. Put him up there as a goal. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, that definitely did the trick. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that sting with the nasal passage is somewhat wrong. So in the end, we found that these methods work to stop you blubbing whilst you cut onions. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! These methods, on the other hand, are more of the old wives' tale variety. They don't really work. So now you know some pain-free methods of preparing this delightful root vegetable. Thanks, pretty. No problem. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you wonder about in the comments below. All of my social media links are in the description box, so check them out for daily updates on cool things that are going on in the science world. And if you want to keep up to date with my videos, click on this onion to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Go do it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.